So let's do the last mechanism of the day. We'll do transesterification. So notice what we're doing is we're taking one ester and we're making a different ester of it, okay? So what we're having is a small concentration of this stuff, okay, small concentration, and a high concentration of ethanol that's the solvent, okay? That's the promoter of this reaction. If you didn't have a high concentration of one and not the other, then this reaction would be in equilibrium. Okay, there's no favoritism over one or the other. What's fav more favored, a methyl or an ethyl? They're essentially the same, right? So the first step of the reaction is going to be sulfuric acid reacting with ethanol. Okay. I don't think I need to do that mechanism, but I'm going to draw the product of it. Like that. Okay, remember the mechanism, what happens? Donate those electrons first. These electrons go remove there, like that. of that molecule there. That's the molecule we're going to use to react the ethanol with. Okay, these are the same molecule. Right? So this ethanol here. Electrophilic carbonyl carbon. Then what's going to happen is we're going to have the proton transfer. I'm not going to show that mechanism because it's two steps. So we're just going to show the proton transfer here. <coughs> from the solvent. Deprotonate that. Giving us our new ester. And the last thing I should say is that all of these are acid base and uh, Nucleophile electrophile steps, so they're all in equilibrium. Okay. So, what's the promoter of the reaction to go forward? It's because we've got a lot of ethanol and no methanol in this reaction. Okay, the only methanol that's being produced is from this, so we're right there, only knock that off. Producing a tiny bit of methanol which cannot compete in sheer numbers against as much ethanol because the ethanol is the solvent, okay? So we gotta get out of here, okay guys? So watch it on your own.